Time now is 647. If you're looking for something to do today and you need that modern art fix, well, the Palm Springs Art Museum is reopening today after a year of being closed due to the pandemic. News Channel 3's Madison Mile is more on what's new and what changes visitors can expect. You know, an empty museum is a pretty lonely, sad place. Uh, it needs people. <laughs> The Palm Springs Art Museum empty no longer. Visitors are officially welcomed back on Thursday after a long, challenging year of being completely shut down. It's been tough. We, we really had to um, do a lot of cost cutting measures. The museum is back with new pieces and five new exhibitions, including several featuring the work of local artists like Gerald Clark. Gerald Clark is a uh, Kauia artist. He's, he lives here in Anza. The museum also has two exhibitions right now by iconic local artist Agnes Pelton. She painted here in Cathedral City in the 20s and 30s uh, into the 40s. The museum is reopening with reduced hours. For now, they're only open Thursday through Sunday and at 25% capacity. Although if we enter the orange tier, that will jump to 50% capacity. Their bistro and wine bar on site also back open. It's all seating outside in our sculpture garden. Visitors will have their temperature taken at the door. They must be wearing masks and will be asked to keep six feet of space between themselves and other visitors. You'll also see these QR codes you can scan on your phone to prevent overcrowding at each work of art. We have a new app on our website so that people can look at don't have to get so close to the walls with everybody trying to read, you know, the, um, about the artworks. Measures in place to ensure a safe viewing experience so locals and Valley visitors alike can get back to enjoying all the museum has to offer. Madison Weil, News Channel 3. And keep in mind, admission is free at the museum on Thursdays from 5 to 7 p.m. And also, tickets must be reserved ahead of time. You can't just show up. And you can do that, reserve that by going to psmuseum.org.